Well, good afternoon everyone, welcome to a new vlog. I've just parked down here in Del Duque Shopping Centre. I do love the parking in here. Popped up our Sanasti car rental, of course, um, in the Kodiak today, which is nice. And now we've come for a specific reason. One of those is that we can't do live streams in this area because of the signal. This is actually one of my favorite areas in Tenerife South. Del Duque Beach, this end of Costa Radecki. It is stunning. But there's also another reason that we've come here uh, which you will have to wait and see that is uh, a new place for you to visit and trust me i've been uh, came a couple of weeks ago and it is stunning you're definitely going to want to check it out uh, but for now i'm going to head up and show you a little bit of the beachfront a little bit of del duque itself love this area i wish we got signal but unfortunately we just don't get it uh, in this area we are normally park in this shopping center which is quite easy i think you get uh, two hours free or an hour free in here so Already your first hour, it doesn't cost anything, which is quite nice. So you've got all kinds of fancy shops in here. But yeah, I want to head straight to the beachfront, where it is a gorgeous day today. It's at 26 degrees, it's been scorching today. Really, really nice. And all those clear blue skies as well. So if you come to Del Duque, let me know. It is, as I said, it's my favourite beach, this one, I think. Just the whole general area. It's always lovely and clean, and it, uh, it does remind me of coming on holiday as a kid. We used to come nearly every day down here. My mum and dad particularly like it because the sunbeds have got those big, thick pads on them. So, uh, mum and dad normally like having those. Dad normally has a little nap and stuff. But we're right to the other end of Del Duque Beach to show you this place. Some of you might know what I'm talking about, some of you, a lot of you won't. Because I only found it walking past it with my friends. Haven't seen it advertised or anything anywhere. Stumbled on it, I was like, whoa, that changed overnight. And uh, it is pretty special, pretty special. Yeah, check out these views. The sun glistening off the water. Beautiful day for the middle of February. Absolutely stunning down here. Always nice, you always get a bit of beach yoga and stuff going on on this grass here of an evening time. Right, so we're gonna wake up a little bit of a, an appetite and a bit of a thirst. I'll give you a little bit of a clue as we walk along the beach. I will show you the nice sunny views as we go. Yeah, it's good to be back. I just wish I'd be down here live streaming nearly every day if I could. I just wish we got good signal. Because I just love this whole stretch. You've got a really cool little blowhole over there. Natural little uh, hole that blows up when the uh, water washes in. That's just stunning. But unfortunately, live stream wise, we don't get the signal. Right, let's stride on. I've shown this castle style mansion many times before. I'd love to know who owns it. and I'd love to know what it's worth. I'd take to hazard a guess. I reckon at least probably 30 million considering some of the ones at the back sell for five or six. This huge one with a massive pool, I reckon in the 30s. Never see anyone in it though. Never see anyone around, wandering around the back or anything like that. Got a little bit of a view up Mount Tady today as well. Love the weather like this. And I think the beachfront is gonna be very busy. Got a bank holiday coming up. So a lot of people have bridged the gap between the weekend and the bank holiday. So I think the beachfront is going to be nice and busy. They've got Carnival coming up in Santa Cruz this week. I've seen some of the hotel prices there. Up to 3,000 euros just for two nights in some of the hotels in Santa Cruz for Carnival. Carnival weekend, massive. Second biggest carnival in the world. Right, got some stunning restaurants along here as well. Some of these I do need to come back and try. They are a little bit more on the pricier end. But some nice food. There you go. Very busy indeed. I just love the palm, the palm trees make a difference. And I love that they're not uh, material umbrellas. They're the straw umbrellas. I think that aesthetically looks a little bit nicer. Yeah, very busy down there. We're going to be walking all the way along. I'm going to enjoy this stretch of the legs. Bit of a different scenery. But yeah, as soon as we get here... Our signal normally drops out, but it's good to bring you a little bit of uh, footage in 4K. I don't quite get the same interaction with chatting to you all. 
and I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments if uh, this is one of your favorite beaches or not if you come down here even just for a little walk it's lovely I've done a whole detailed vlog on Del Duque Beach I will link it in the description where I go through all the prices of the sunbeds and you know the different layouts and things to look out for I've done all that on the channel before the main reason for this vlog is what's coming right at the end so since we're passing I've got to mention how good the coffee is in uh, the little Del Duque cafe there they do a very good lechi lechi got a nice little piece of chocolate with it as well which is an uh, added bonus for me they've also got this new little cool to go bit of like healthy poke bowls and salads and stuff in that one so it's a bit of a different vibe to the usual Los Cristianos and Las Americas beaches and we have eaten in here before as well which was fantastic there's a real atmosphere it's currently about half past three in the afternoon filming this and a real nice atmosphere about the place and you'll notice as well today we are quite lucky because we've got the nice clear blue skies and over in Las Americas it's looking a little bit a little bit cloudy those ways all right we're still striding I just keep stopping and admiring everything going on at the beach so much to look at people selling massages people having fun people playing in the waves boats going past and I do get the odd waft of the old sun cream, real holiday vibes. So I always mention it, I'm going to again, always pay attention to these colored flags above the beach. If you're having a swim, this does let you know how safe it is to swim. And uh, still even last week, someone being rescued out of the water. Uh, there was a particular story over in Gran Canaria. So if you're coming to the Canaries, always pay attention to those flags, look after yourselves. Uh, we do get rip tides, rip currents and strong waves and such. So. Uh, do look after yourselves this is a hotel i've always admired i love the pool area at the front the uh, rio palace really nice resort that one well, i can't wait to show you where we're going it's uh it's it's been on my list to film for a little while but i've waiting been waiting for a gorgeous sunny day like this just to really really show it off but i think a lot of you are going to want to visit when you see it well, yeah, i'm admiring the little sunny views sunny beaches uh, one little story as well from today uh, while i was at work i did have a client come in and he had a big black eye and everything and unfortunately he had uh, been mugged so do again please be very careful uh, he was out and about on his own a bit later at night and uh, came up behind him robbed his wallet and stuff yes it does happen everywhere etc but it's just a reminder don't switch off when you come here on holiday it is gorgeous blue skies and sunshine like you can see but uh, unfortunately we do have characters that a lot of them fly over here just to do that thing. They know there's so many tourists over here switched off enjoying the sunshine and they will come over and pickpocket and rob cars, etc. So just a reminder again, be very careful with your stuff. I recommend, don't even bring a wallet, just bring a card, some cash, nothing too fancy. And uh, yeah, just watch your pockets, look after yourselves. As I said, happens in all the tourist hotspots. It is amplified over here with the number of tourists that we've got. They know they can come over. In the winter time, we have a lot of the, the more elderly generations here as well that are more old school. They carry their wallet. They carry big wads of cash and things like that. They're a bit easier to target. So do please still look after yourselves. I'm going to keep on with those warnings. Unfortunately, that gentleman came in the office this morning and uh, was a little bit shaken up by it and that happened in Playa La Arena which isn't too far from here down the coast so yeah just a little little friendly reminder got to be the same everywhere you go anywhere you go you've got to look after yourselves but of course you come sunshine cocktails beers and then uh, you do end up switching off here's another little thing I love to look at uh, in this area and that's these cool little rock formations still well, they're not formations because people do them by hand but these cool little rock stands that people come and build and spend hours balancing all the rocks some of them i've seen them even high i've seen them double the height of this i think the wind sometimes comes and knocks them all down that's quite a big one but yeah all these cool little rock formations some are a little bit different but we are going to continue striding on we're heading in the direction of la caleta however however everyone this is where we're going this just here so 
Just at the end of Del Duque Beach, you've got their second little cafe here. You're gonna cross the bridge and carry on walking just to around here. And I'm gonna show you exactly why you're gonna to wanna to come here. Okay, everyone, so we have now arrived and just on this bend here is where we are heading to. So we are heading to what is called Scene. So you might not have seen Scene before, or have you seen it? Who knows? Uh, but I literally stumbled on this a few weeks ago with uh, my friends, and this is a beach club. Anyone is welcome to come in here. You can come in and have a drink and a relax. The sun goes down in this sort of area here. So you do get a bit of a sunset, but as you can see, it's all open, open to the public, and you can come in and enjoy the beach club. Now we came in, had a little drink, chilled, and it is very nice in here, very nice indeed. A lot of this is all the hotel pool area. Love this tree. But yeah, this new beach club, it sprung up out of nowhere. I knew nothing about it until I walked past and it is open to the public so you can come and enjoy. We're gonna head in, show you around a little bit. And we'll grab ourselves a little drink. Well, come on everyone, let me know in the comments how stunning is it in here? The pool area, the sunbeds look so comfy. You've got sunbed service at the hotel. And this is where we're heading to, which is seen, but just the whole area in here is stunning. I love the gardens, the features, this lights up at night. It's just gorgeous walking through. So let's head on and get a drink. But yeah, I just love it. I think it's stunning in here. Absolutely, just couldn't believe it when I came in. There is a little restaurant here as well called Guilty, which you can also try. Yeah, you've got the breakfast area as well. It's just gorgeous. Now, as well as seeing Beach Club, which we've got, you've also got a gorgeous hotel bar at the back of here, which I want to show you because I did come here with my friends as well. Uh, they were not staying here, but we did uh, just walk on through, obviously respect the rules and everything. And we did buy a cocktail just at the back here in this bar. I love this hotel. I'd love to stay here. I think it's beautiful. With all the plants and the palm trees and everything. We will be going back to the Beach Club in a second, but I just want to show you this other bar option which we found, you just follow the sign for bars and it's just in here, they've got some really cool seating and stuff this nice little pond here I think it's really cool in here so aesthetic so there's a little, some fish knocking around in here, yeah there you go fish are still here, paddling around beautiful hotel if you've stayed here before you are very lucky let us know what you thought of the rooms but yeah, not this one it sets just through the other side is a lovely little bar. Okay, so I've just come up to the second floor above the pool that we just walked through. I walked to the end, up the steps, and here we are. Here is the other gorgeous bar where we sat and had a little drink in the cool swingy chairs. You've got these cool like sofa chairs as well, like beanbag chairs and sofa beds. But I just think it's absolutely gorgeous in here. It's a hidden little spot. And uh, they never said anything about us coming in. We just paid for a drink up front in cash. Didn't ask for a room number or anything. Obviously, you've got to be respectful. But a lot of these hotels, they will allow you in. As long as you're respectful, you're polite. You uh, don't cause any trouble. They will let you in. You can buy a drink. You can chill in here. So I just wanted to point this one out. This is where I had a lovely drink with our friends. They do ice cream there as well. And we sat in these cool swingy chairs. And it was just dead relaxing, dead chilled. Great service as well. But with views like that, you'll have the sun going down right in front of you here. Stunning sunsets. Well, I'm going to make my way back down and go into the beach club this time, but there's just views everywhere you look. I just love all the palm trees and everything. I think this would be probably my top hotel that I'd like to stay in. There's some gorgeous hotels in La Caleta and Adeki, but this is right up there. Now, I did manage to grab the El Clasico sports bar menu, and this looks gorgeous as well. Roasted canary and pork leg, club sandwiches, but also look at that, a key lime pie. Oh, yeah. So I think I'd definitely like to come back and try. Oh, try drop, not drop the menu would be good. But uh, yeah, I'd like to come back and try this. This looks lovely. Food looks really good. Sit here, key lime pie, chill in there. You'd think you're in the uh, Florida Keys, the way it looks in here. There you go, there's a little look at that menu. You can just come in and, and 
buy a dessert. I mean, it's obviously, you know, it's 10 euros for a dessert, but look at where you are. Gorgeous. Imagine this with your friends as well. A little bit of a cooler night. The sun's just gone down. You've got the sea breeze coming in. It just go a little bit chillier. And you just sit round the gorgeous log fire. Maybe even get a couple of marshmallows out. Sit, chill. Cocktail from the bar or a hot chocolate. Stunning. Listen to the fountain be out below with the fish in. It is nice, isn't it? Just imagine chilling round there. Nice little chat around the fire pit. There you go. Love Island vibes. Stunning. Well, how stunning is this? Gorgeous fountain in the middle. This is the beach club, which you can come into, enjoy a bit of food, a bit of a drink. I'm gonna go and sit on the sand, I think, but again, how gorgeous is this at night, sitting here? Quite romantic, little fountain behind, there's the bar. It's beautiful. I'm gonna sit down, enjoy a little coffee, I think, somewhere on the sand bit. Got speakers on as well. They might have a little bit of live entertainment at night. Yeah, this is nice. This is lovely. I love the music as well. Bit of soft jazz. Sand, chilling palm trees. Oh, this is me for the afternoon now, guys. A couple of beers, I'd be well away. Got the parasailing going by, yachts going past. Oh, this is nice. So, just taking a seat in the shade. Didn't want to sit in the sun too much. So, this is the Tivoli Hotel, it's called. Uh, here in uh, Costa Radaki and this is the beach club called Scene. So I have just showed you the uh, QR code, you can scan that and have a look at the menu. I did just price up one of the rooms for a night, 400 odd euros. Ouch, maybe that goes on time of year. Let me know if you check out any of the prices, but I would have to say, just by the aesthetics, the staff as well, that anyone I've gone past has said hello, dead friendly, this would be one of the choices I would have to make to stay in, I think, definitely. I do like some of the other hotels with that view where they've got the uh, infinity pools and those beds that are half submerged but that pool area there couldn't show you too much because people were in there didn't want to you know disturb them privacy uh, wise but nice in here i think could be on a little mission to stay here one night if we can get a decent rate that is but uh, do check it out it's a lovely lovely hotel and order a little lecce lecce i think a little coffee and a fizzy water for now but I'll be back for cocktails one night definitely and I'd like to eat as well I want to have some food uh, when my friends came and Laura came as well they really enjoyed the cocktails the cocktails were lovely again I think they're about 12 euros you're gonna pay the price it's a luxurious resort but they were nice that's the important thing you don't mind paying if it's nice it's when you pay over the odds and it's not very good but the cocktails they had they said were gorgeous so they were tempted to even get a second one Definitely going to be back. I'll get a little coffee ordered. Well, this is chilled. My kind of music as well. Just relaxing. Fall asleep. Okay, everyone. So, I mean, have you seen a fancier looking coffee setup than this? We've got our condensed milk separately. So, a lecce lecce does have condensed milk in it, but I mean, got to give that a 10 out of 10 for the old. Uh, the, for the setup there, I mean, it's certainly even the, even the little black spoon. I mean, wouldn't mind that at home, would you? But uh, yeah, condensed milk separately, and then also plus points for a glass bottle of fizzy water. The only thing is, lovely glass. Where's the ice and lemon? Let themselves down there with no ice and lemon. But yeah, that, how good's that? Gorgeous. Now I feel very luxurious indeed. I mean, I don't know how much of this is going to cost me. It's probably a 20 euro coffee, but. I mean, if you're going for it, you might as well have a nice gold gold cup, mightn't you? Now, while I sit and chill and drink, you're all going to answer a question for me in the comments here. Tea or coffee? You can only pick one, tea or coffee. Now, a lot of the Brits think you're going to pick tea, aren't you? But for me, I would probably pick, pick coffee, I think. I've made a right mess, by the way. As fancy as the plate and the cup and saucer is. What a mess. I did. I messed up getting the, the lecce lecce in there, but we won't go there. We'll skip over that part. But uh, yeah, coffee or tea? I'm nearly done with this. This is gorgeous. Well, the table setup's getting more and more bougie as we sit here because the gentleman's just going round, putting all these fancy lamp lights on the uh, table. So when the sun goes down, you can click your little light on. Ooh, nice. I won't, I won't leave it on, but uh, well, it's a shame. I've got to get got to get back to work, so I can't stay here too long. However, I will come back of a sunset. We'll see all these lights in effect. I reckon at, at night time. It would be stunning in here. A little glass of wine. 
think the lighting and stuff would be lovely, but yeah, getting that bougie and bougie would be going. I love playing with lights. <laughs> it's, uh, it's nice, that. Nice little set. I've just asked for the bills, so get your guesses in what you think this bill is going to be. Fizzy water, half a litre of fizzy water and a lecce lecce. Oh, excuse me, fizzy water. Uh, and a lecce lecce gold plated. Well, it's normally a sign of what's to come, isn't it? When your bill comes in a, a leather a leather handbag almost. Leather pouch, oof, magnetic, fancy pen. Okay, seven euros 40, about what I expected to be fair. 3.45 for the water, they really hit you for the coffee. Four euros for a small lecce lecce. It's more than double, probably triple what you can get it for outside, but uh, very nice little pen that as well, very nice. I think you can put your room number on and stuff or you can just pay the bill as you want to yeah nice nice setup very fancy magnetic box you knew what was coming didn't you but you're paying for where you are that's the thing you're in a daki you're in the high end of a daki you're in a luxury five-star resort you've got stunning furniture seating atmosphere you know you're, you're paying for it so i'll get this paid 740 not the cheapest but it was nice it's different and definitely i will be coming back So I'm going to make my way back now. I just had to come and show you that to uh, get it on the map. I will be coming back and doing some cocktails and stuff of an evening time. Definitely going to bring mum and dad next time they're over. That's right up their street. But yeah, I spotted it the other week and I thought rather than just post pictures, I want to actually come and show you a bit more in depth in a video. So rather than just quickly throw some pictures up and see exactly where it is there. If you just walk along the front, along the seafront, you will find it. Can't miss it and it's absolutely gorgeous. So it was nice to try the service as well. Show you the sort of prices. I didn't, I uh, forgot to check the uh, drinks menu to be fair, which was a bit silly of me. I'm sure someone will visit and uh, post up a picture of the drinks menu. I'm sure you can expect, you know, 12, 13, 14 euro cocktails, but you're paying for where you are. So I hope you did enjoy that. And I'm enjoying my stroll back along Del Duque Beach. Yeah, this one here used to be quite a top one for me with the infinity pool, but that beach area there with all the palm trees, you could be anywhere, anywhere at all when you're in there. So that I think now has uh, jumped up to the top of my list. So I think this is a fitting place to round off our vlog. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Don't forget to please hit the thumbs up button. It really does help us out the little thumbs up button below the video. And of course, make sure you subscribe. There is loads of videos already on the channel and uh, plenty more to come, including a lot of live streams. We'd like to do our live streams over here. So uh, do consider subscribing, it's completely free. Give me a follow on TikTok, Instagram, and also Facebook as well. The links are down in the description box. Yeah, I'm gonna round it off here, head back to the car. And uh, don't forget, if you do wanna have a car, you do wanna come and explore places like this, you want the freedom of a car, you're thinking of renting one, sanasty.com, that is what I do full time over here, car rental business, so uh, do check us out for a quote, we can deliver to your hotel, you can pick it up at the airport, drop it at the airport, or you can collect it in Los Cristianos. But yeah, from me, from Costa Rodecki, Del Duque, gorgeous, gorgeous weather, thank you very much for watching. Definitely check out uh, Scene, if you've seen it, then you'll know, there you go. But uh, thank you very much, and of course, stride on, see you soon.